So, uh, actually, what we're talking about is the original Star Trek series, and this month marks 50 years since the premiere of the series on NBC. It first aired on September 8th, 1966, with the episode The Man Trap. Well, it's, it's so first it. in so many ways. It's first in, you know, the first show that only had three seasons, uh, um, but turned into a syndication dream. It's, on, it's been on uh, TV every day somewhere in the world. Since right. the sixties or early seventies. Right. Like it they was, say, like uh, Queen Victoria, she said, uh, "The sun never sets on the Klingon Empire." That's right. I think that's a direct quote. <laughs> you know. Well, you must be pretty shot. ticked, Ross, because that beautiful Enterprise model that you reveled at the Smithsonian I Air and did, Space Museum—it's now a computer-generated image on the remasters. So, the, uh, yeah, and I, I mean, I that I'm, sucks. I'm not a big fan of CGI. I think we've talked about this before. I'm not a huge fan. Yeah. I love that actual model. Yeah, so it's and, gone. And I have anybody it's not that gone. And the Smithsonian is still wondering where gone. theirs went. <laughs> yeah. It's not gone because I, I just bought the Blu-rays for the original series, uh, one massive box that has all three seasons. Yeah. And you have the option of oh. watching it, and you can flip back and forth. Right. So but not if you're streaming it on Netflix, you're stuck with you're exactly right. CGI you're stuck Enterprise. With the CGI. And that so, sucks. Yeah, it does. Yeah, but does it really distract from the show? Well, what I don't what what I what I don't like is you've got. A gr- people with velour shirt, and you've got your flared pants tucked into boots. You've got Janice Rand with her beehive hairdo. Then you got this beautifully CGI planet with clouds moving by. Like it's, it's just incongruous. incongruous. Yeah. Oh, but that's exactly right. I yeah. yeah, I disagree. I think that all the the effects that they added, while they may have added weather systems on planets, and they made them look yeah, they look they kept high right res. in tune with a cheeseball sixties sci fi show like. The the Star Trek Enterprise has these sort of semi spheres on the back of the little army hot doggy things that come off the back. Okay. of cells. Okay, there's so much wrong with what you just said. And they sell. I'm so just using wrong. very <laughs> technical. Yeah, I'm, I'm trying to use language that describes them without knowing what For those a three-year-old hot, hot doggy so those hot dog things, <laughs> those hot the doggy things, those hot dog things. on the back. It's those like, wieners. It's on like two forks on a hot yeah. dog stuck oh. into a frankfurter. <laughs> If there wasn't With two a deer micro- plate on top, if there right? wasn't a fire it- right between us right now, <laughs> there would be a fight like you've never seen. But I think everybody out there now knows exactly what the Enterprise looks like. They don't. It's harder to describe the Millennium you just, Falcon. Just, you just described a hot dog cart. 